In this video, I want to provide another example of a bad instrumental variable. And the example which we're going to be talking about this time is finding out whether classroom attendance or class attendance has an effect on an individual's test score, which they take for that particular class. So sort of theoretically, we might expect that there is a positive relationship between classroom attendance and score, because if you attend class, you get exposed to more of the source material, meaning that you're likely to do better on the score. So we sort of expect that beta in the population is greater than zero. But the problem here with estimating this relationship via OLS is that there are likely a range of other factors which are correlated with classroom attendance, which are contained within this sort of error U like here. An example of this might be a sort of individual's level of ability or an individual's level of sort of interest in the class. And it is likely that if we were to sort of do a scatter plot of an individual's sort of level of ability or an individual's level of interest, on an individual's classroom attendance, it is likely that there would be some sort of positive correlation between these two variables because those individuals who are more interested in the class or perhaps those individuals who are more able are more likely to attend class than those that are less able. Okay, so that's the problem with estimating this above relationship via OLS. So then let's think about a possible instrument. And let's say that we chose our instrument to be whether that individual was pregnant or not during the course of the time which they took the class. So the idea here is that we expect being pregnant should be correlated with classroom attendance, but it should not affect or be correlated with any of these sort of omitted factors UI. And we can sort of formalize this by saying that sort of beta hat IV, the IV estimator using whether an individual is pregnant is going to be consistent if two particular conditions are upheld. The first of these conditions is that the covariance between an individual being pregnant and this sort of population error term UI has to be equal to zero. The second condition is that there has to be a covariance in the population of an individual being pregnant and classroom attendance, which does not equal zero. So let's think about this second condition to begin with. So the idea here is that if we were to run a sort of regression of whether an individual was pregnant on their sort of classroom attendance, so classroom attendance is sort of a, is a percentage between naught and 100%, and being pregnant is a sort of binary variable, zero if, you, if they weren't pregnant while the class was going on, and one if they were, then we might expect that there would be some sort of negative correlation between these two variables. Because if an individual is pregnant, especially if they're in the latter stages of pregnancy, they are likely going to have to miss class for a range of reasons related to their health, or perhaps if it's just after um, they've given birth, they would again have to miss class because perhaps they sort of have their initial period where they are bringing up the children and they can't sort of enlist the help of parents and various others. So that's the second condition. The first condition is whether it is the case that being pregnant is correlated with this error UI here. So we've got so just to reiterate, we've, we've actually ascertained that it is likely the case that this second condition is upheld. We're now just testing the first condition. So if we were to draw a sort of scatter plot of whether an individual was pregnant against their sort of level of ability or sort of interest, then I would suspect again that there is some sort of negative correlation between these two variables because those individuals who are sort of more able or sort of perhaps come from families whereby um, they are sort of had a very sort of delinquent upbringing, then perhaps that means that they will be less interested in the class and also they will be 
more likely to get pregnant. So that means that there's going to be likely some sort of negative correlation between these two variables. Obviously, I'm sort of speaking about girls here because boys can't get pregnant. Um, so there is likely some sort of correlation between ability or sort of an individual's level of interest and whether that individual gets pregnant. So that actually means that because ability and an individual's level of interest are contained within this error UI, that we actually have a violation of this first condition. So in this circumstance, we wouldn't be able to conclude that beta hat IV was consistent. We would actually say that beta hat IV is inconsistent.